More humans are living in urban areas, meaning towns, cities, and other built up places than ever before. That's what the entire Urban Issues Unit is about. The fact that we are now mostly an urban species. Why is this happening? What problems does it cause and what are the solutions to these problems? Before we go deeper into all the urban stuff, it helps if you know a little bit about Earth's human population. If you're watching this, the number you see on the screen is out of date. This is the number of humans on Earth known as the population, or at least it was the population at 6.42pm on the 21st of June 2021. And even that is a rough estimate we'll never really know for sure. 7,896,000,000 434 is a really, really large number of people. But the most interesting thing isn't that number, it's how we got to that number. This graph shows that journey from 10,000 BC, which was over 12,000 years ago, all the way up to just after 2000 AD. Just to give you an idea of how long that is, let's talk a bit of history. Here is when the pyramids were built. Here is the peak of the ancient Roman civilization. Here is the Black Death, and here are the two world wars. And obviously just after the year 2000 is the present day. We are now going to add our human population onto this graph and show how it has grown over time. In 10,000 BC, there are only about 1 million people on the whole planet. That might sound like a lot, but London's modern population is about 9 million, and that is just one city. 1 million people barely even shows up on this graph, and that's how things stay for a long time. By the time we get to 5000 BC, the population has risen to 5 million, still not enough to make a big impact on this graph. Population growth does speed up a little bit after that, reaching about 170 million by the year 1 AD. By the time we get to the year 1000, there are 254 million people. By 1500, there are 425 million people. 1600 sees the population reach 535 million. And by 1700, there are 600 million people. Here's where things get a little crazy. In 1804, the world hits 1000 million. That is 1 billion people. Modern humans have been around since 300,000 BC, so it took us a very long time to reach that number. But watch what happens next. The world hits 2 billion in 1927. It reaches 3 billion in 1960. 4 billion in 1974. 5 billion in 1987. 6 billion in 1999 and 7 billion in 2011. It is estimated that the number of humans on Earth could reach 8 billion sometime around 2023. If you are watching this in 2023, did that happen? Let us know in the comments. So there you go. It took the human race almost 312,000 years to reach 1 billion, another 123 years to reach 2 billion, 33 more years to get to 3 billion, 14 years to get to 4 billion, 13 years to get to 5 billion and 12 years to get to 6 billion and another 12 years to get to 7 billion. The logical question you might now be asking is why? Why though? Let's have a look at just a few of the reasons. Over time, humans have become much better at growing crops and rearing animals. Between roughly 1600 and the present day, improvements such as crop rotation, using fertilizers and pesticides, using tools and eventually using machinery would greatly improve the amount that could be grown, known as the yield. With more food came better diets, for people who then went on to live longer, causing population to increase simply because less people were dying. Probably the most important factor of all was the massive improvements in medicine and health that took place between 1700 and the present day. 
Our understanding of human health made enormous leaps in that time, and the resulting improvements meant humans began living much, much longer than ever before. Earth's population then rose rapidly because, once again, less people were dying. The Industrial Revolution began in the mid-1700s. Powered machines began to do jobs humans used to do, and they did it much faster. This meant we could begin to manufacture and transport things in large quantities. Combined with the improvements in medicine and agriculture, population grew sharply as birth rates increased. Thank you for coming along on the wild journey that is the growth of the human population. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe as it helps us to bring you more content like this in the future. And if you wish to be notified when we upload a new video, hit the little bell dingy. As always, you've been listening to The Mountain Man and watching the work of Michael Deluxe. And remember, keep it simple.